What's up guys, Tao here. Apple finally released iOS 12 on the 17th September for the iPhone and the iPad. Uh, I've been testing the uh, beta of the iOS 12 uh, for the past couple of months also on this uh, iPad Air 2. Uh, it's about four years old now. So now today, I'll be running on the official final release of the iOS 12 on this. Um, for this purpose of the video, I actually downgraded the uh, iOS 12 beta to the 11.4.1 uh, just to do a testing purpose. So today I'll be showing you guys uh, what is the performance on the 11.4.1 uh, uh, against the iOS 12. The test won't be in depth, uh, just uh, briefly testing the boot time and also a running on Geekbench 4 on the older version and the current the iOS 12. And also just in general, the day-to-day -day tasks and day-to-day -day operation, how smooth it goes, um, and also what are the subtle changes, uh, what are the subtle changes to you, and what I think might be useful for you or for me. So yeah, let's go ahead. Now the first benefit of the new iOS 12 on the uh, iPad Air 2 is the boot time. Uh, as you can see here, the uh, iOS 12 on the Air 2 actually boot slightly faster uh, compared to the 11.4.1. And also on the Geekbench 4, um, because the new system actually uh, pretty well optimized for the old hardware, for this four years old hardware, actually score, overall score actually is higher than the 11.4.1. Uh, in my opinion, it's not kind of surprise. Apple been keep supporting the old hardware pretty well. The last the iPad actually will support is the Air, besides the Mini. So the Air 2 still have a few years, I hope, still have a few years um, lifespan left in terms of the usage. Now in terms of the day-to-day uh, -day operation and day-to-day -day tasks, uh, to be honest, when I was testing beta, um, this, it's really, really smooth. Um, in terms of opening apps, switching apps, multitasking, open a couple of windows at the same time, and everything is really, really smooth. Uh, in fact, I personally think maybe a little bit, just a little bit smoother than the 11.4.1, uh, again, because the new system is optimized for the old hardware. And in terms of the app switching, uh, it's, it's no lags, almost no lags. Now, in terms of big uh, application, uh, yes, because is the old hardware so you will take a couple of seconds more to load but besides that uh, in my opinion the day-to-day -day, uh, apps use or day-to-day -day operation you probably won't notice that much difference in terms of the uh, 11 compared to the 11.4.1 in terms of the changes there are a few subtle changes um, first is the notification uh, on the old 11.4.1 so every single notification is individual um, on the new iOS 12, there is a function uh, called grouped uh, notification. Once you tap on that group notification, all the individual will show up. So it's a lot neater. Another subtle change is uh, on the uh, time and date. Now there is a date now. Now on the top right, you swap down is actually the uh, control center. Um, you swipe from the bottom to the top on, from the screen is the uh, it's the app switcher. Um, in my opinion, the app switcher and the control center, I personally really want them together, but the new system actually separate them. It's not really a big deal. I just personally prefer them all together. Now the message app is synced across your Apple devices, as long as you use your same Apple ID. So you don't have to chase uh, up individual message. Now, as, as soon as you sign in, all the messages will come up at once. Another very useful function is the screen time. Now, I, I think this could be good for parents and good for those people they consume a lot of iPads for social media or for um, some tasks they think they might spend too much time on. So I think it's a great idea uh, for parents, which means you can limit the uptime or limit the downtime of the tablet. So your kids can't really use the tablet unless they have your permission. Um, I think it's a really, really good idea. In terms of the battery life, I personally didn't really notice any significant battery drain. In fact, I kind of feel like the battery actually improved a little bit uh, thanks to the uh, new iOS 12 uh, because the efficiency has been improved dramatically. Overall, I think uh, the new system is really, really good, especially run on the almost four years old Air 2. It's kind of bring the Air 2 back to life and uh, bring back to his own glory. 
please tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you have this tablet or if you have this Air 2, um, if you did upgrade to uh, iOS 12, please let me know what you think and we can share with the other people. All right, that was the brief testing of the iOS 12 compared to the 11.4.1. Uh, please tell me what you guys think. And if you have the Air 2, I personally think it's a really, really good idea to upgrade to iOS 12. It's not only just to improve the performance, I think uh, we'll make the Air 2 uh, more usable, so bring the Air 2 back to life in, in, in a way. So performance jump I think is uh, not too significant, but you definitely see the benefit, especially with all those extra functions uh, within the iOS 12. And if you like the video, click on the like and share with others. And if you didn't like it, you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, all those things. Uh, thank you guys. See you next video, maybe. Blah, <laughs>